I want to tell you a funny story okay. and talking about how I ended up being a bartender in New Orleans. Yeah. I used to be a TV producer. Yeah. We've talked about this. Yeah. I won an Emmy and I was very... I studied journalism and documentary work, whatever, but because I was from Spain living in Miami, something always pulled me, gravitated towards food, towards how food and people when eating together was such a part of my culture that it differentiated Hispanic culture from a lot of different cultures, right? Like, yeah. that was the one thing that, if anything, was a blessing that we instituted in other people. We yeah. don't have to talk about all the oh. other... Mm -hmm. oh, but the one thing that Hispanic influence can bring you is that breaking bread and eating together it was a very... It's such an integral part of our culture, right? Yes. And it's such an integral part of New Orleans, mm -hmm. right? Because it has Spanish, it has French, and it has Italian cultures, right? Mm -hmm. And those three cultures are so integral about breaking bread. Yeah. So when I started being a journalist, inevitably I was driven to food. Then I wrote for the Miami New Times. I was the editor for Tasting Table in Miami. I wrote for Eater over here and for a very local New Orleans. And I still write for Thrillers from time to time. Cool. But like becoming part of, of, of just telling the stories, the, the, the stories of food and the stories of cocktails of, of people was just such an integral part of my life. And then I became so obsessed with the, cult the cocktail culture because if we're talking about all of the kismet and, 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 and magic that happens with cultures collide, traditions you'll look at, you will have Asians with sake and rice wines and whatever. You have, you know, the Aztecs with pulque and like the, in the Incas with, with uh, what's it called? Um, mezcal. No, mezcal. Mezcal is from Aztecs. Sorry. Uh, pinche, piche? Don't call me on that one. Yeah. But everybody has always been, I mean, then the, the monks in France with chartreuse and, yeah. you know, everybody, no matter what time period in the world and no matter where we were, we have been coming closer to this part of us in which we are elevated in this spirit. And that's why they call it the spirits, right? Yeah. Whether you believe it's a religious thing or just a time to have fun and enjoy humanity. As I was studying in journalism and I was writing about cocktails and whatever, I realized that, oh my God, there's so much more that we don't think about bartending and bartenders and bars. There's so much more that we don't understand about bartending that is just so integrated into our cultures that we think it's like, oh, just about to get drunk. New Orleans has never been just a city to get drunk. New Orleans has always yeah. been a very spiritual city. You come in here and you know the fucking spirits are talking to you and whether in what version they're talking to you, they will call on you, right? So here's a person that walks into the situation where they leave all the problems behind because they have to be like right brain, left brain, and frontal core. Sure. Let's go. And so, and then I, I didn't have the balls to do it anywhere else other than New Orleans because New Orleans is so full of magic in a weird way that I knew that that integration was going to be like, the oh, I was gonna become like the full witch. You know oh, what I mean? Like nice. I was going to become the Queen of Wicca. The, the not the Queen of Wicca, but like if 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 alchemy.
things that I love about working for the Virgin Hotel is that it really brings in the kind of individuals that the stories that I tell with my cocktails blend in with the stories that they're telling me and vice versa yes. like it's not a job anymore right now I'm just like mixing the spirits and they're engaging with me yeah. and telling me their stories because they're the kind of person that want to hang out in this hotel and yeah. like it's been such a real ride just because it, you, you get to hang out with but like even That's as true. a bartender sometimes i feel it you know what i mean yeah. like because sometimes people are like even for game day now they know that to come here like oh you're the sassy spanish bartender but we love you and 